I'm back. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. I am joined by Vox Myron, your local Vox teaching bard. Myron, she is optimism and shiny thing loving incarnate. Today we have a very special Halloween suggestion. Cradle of Filth, her ghost in fog. <gasps> Clink and get on with it. Clink and get on with it. Let's do. This. Let's do. This. <laughs> do you like Demon mm. Blood? Can't say I've ever tried. You guys are too fast, which is saying something. It's very warm. Mmm. I see. Mm. Oh, before we begin, I was told a little secret that perhaps there is some content within this particular song that may be triggering to <gasps> some of to some of you watching. So if themes of rape and murder are not very your style, and I much must say the former is not particularly to my mm, taste. No. This is your one and only warning. Very speech-like. I would dare say that he is leaning towards more of a narrator feel in his Very delivery much. for this. You as a bard, do a dare say narrator feel? Yes. Yes. As a bard, I think it has a narrator feel. But also, I feel a bit confused. I have heard Danny Phil sing before, and it was it was much higher. And he had a lot of makeup on, so he doesn't look like the same person, if I'm completely honest. I think this is still Danny Phil. But he looks really different. But as a bard, I know that there's a lot of importance in making oneself out to become a kind of character. That is true. So perhaps Danny Filth is very good at assuming different characters. This is my first time hearing Danny Filth, so your second time. It's much lower than I so remember. Low. Much lower. Oh, yes. Goodness. Okay, let us see if this vocal choice persists. Oh, 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 really cool at the very beginning, and that was this sound. Oh, do it again. Oh, I love how you change the shape of your mouth to create the different pictures of that. <laughs> so cool. It, it almost sounded like there are multiple people doing that, or maybe it was just wind. It could have been just wind. But then they shocked us all by bringing in the music very suddenly. Oh, yes, that, that gave me quite the startle, if I'm being completely honest. Yes. I like it when they startle me. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to require more Justin. Okay. Mm. Mm. Justin has done very well by us tonight. Justin is doing quite well. To Justin. To Justin. Okay. Continue. But it is desire that certainty as we shall see. Ah! That's Danny Filth. It's still very low, but goodness, the tone is completely different. I know it just sounds low, but compared to our narrator bringing in the beginning, his was so speech-based that at times didn't quite sit on any particular pitch. And this is the difference between narrating something and actually singing with just a touch of speech quality. Speech quality shapes your words, but that narrator feel kind of defies pitch at times, whereas you can still be pitched quite well. 
with speech quality as a vocal choice. So, let us go back. That's Danny. That's Danny? That's Danny. Okay, that's Danny. I was so confused. Pleasure to meet you, Danny. Love your pala. <laughs> okay. Sounds like we have some layering. I think we have some layering. I think we have some layering. Look at that showing off. Huh? <laughs> and where do you think the waka 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 is happening inside? I, I don't know if we necessarily have true folds in mm -hmm. this. No, I, I don't necessarily hear any pitching going on. But I am fascinated by how he is changing his pharyngeal shape to hit details in his sound that are very expressive. I'm finding that these little <laughs> moments that are happening in his sound, they're very familiar to me when we're chasing monsters. Yes, yes, <gasps> yes, yes. I think that his voice is attractive to you. <gasps> to me? You don't need to say this too loudly. <laughs> but yes, he is using these almost expressiveness in the syllables of certain sounds. It's very, very exciting, actually, and it takes us on a story because he starts off quite low. Feels like you've got some false folds mm. happening in mm. there, false folds For sure. in the beginning. And then as we're moving upwards, we get this breathy sound. <sighs> definitely. He definitely has a higher constriction that starts yes. to happen. Higher levels of constriction. Thank you, my dear. Okay. Let us go back, and we're going to listen to this again, just in case we missed anything, yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Let's go back. You don't want to go your nightmare. Oh, nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Whoa. so cool. <laughs> I like nightmares. Some you do like nightmares. Do you like causing other people nightmares? <gasps> Only if they really want them. Oh. No, one of those. Okay. <laughs> So that low sound and the high sound, our layers there, what do we think is going on there? I think the lower is false vocal folds. Mm. It's very rich though. Mm. He seems to have a very rich false fold sound mm -hmm. and the upper definitely sounds like a, <laughs> a little mm. smeagle sound. Those of you who have been here before know what the smeagle sound is. All the way down the bottom there. And we've got this fry scream coming through the top, yes? Yes. Yes, and oh my god. On top of that fry scream, it sounds like a Nazgul. A Nazgul? Oh goodness, goodness me. I They're mean, very nice once you get to know them. And if you bring the right beverage. Oh no, that's me. <laughs> okay. So, um, I must admit, these lyrics are rather poetic. They're beautiful. I think they're beautiful, considering how scary some of these sounds are. Oh my, I clicked a thing. Technology, eh. Uh, okay, back, back. Let's keep listening, I think. Listening? Yeah. Yes. find ourselves falling down that sudden tempo change in what the musicians are doing. These lyrics are a little overwhelming, but we had a new voice! There's a new voice. There's a new voice, guys. We weren't expecting that at all. Sarah! 
Oh. I was expecting it. You were expecting it. Oh, God. Thank okay. you for the people that help write information about the parts yes. in these videos. Yes, thank you. I read it. Sarah. You can read? <gasps> yes! Oh, <laughs> I mean, good for you. <laughs> Demons are very literate sometimes. Oh. Uh. I see. Unfortunately, the ones that I've met perhaps are not, mm. not so But You've been charming this entire time. Aww. Thank you, Box. Okay, let us chat about our new voice because she is doing something very different to our lead, Danny, isn't she? Very. First of all, not the same folds that are vibrating or going whacka, 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 yes. Um, her true folds are vibrating and I would dare say that her sound... It's more of a modified classical, wouldn't you say? It doesn't quite have the same breadth that I would normally expect from a completely classical trained person. Or perhaps she's she almost going sounds... for something lighter. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think she sounds almost like a classical musician who's been doing session work, which makes sense. <sighs> classical singers, if we're talking really opera, they're so used to not singing without a microphone and they're just <laughs> out there. Mm. But this voice has a lot more... Uh, control as if it knew what the mic or how close the microphone was. So when she does it, it has this beautiful bell-like tone that's almost like she had some nice dome in the back mm -hmm. of her head. And oh, it goes up there. It has a very lovely pingy sound. I like it very much. It was. It was a very sweet tone. It was a very sweet very tone. Very sweet. And... If we're going to be talking physiologically in order to achieve this sound, she is going to be in her second register, which means Definitely. her crack thyroid muscle mm -hmm. is engaging in order to lengthen those folds, thin them out a little bit. Some people call this head voice, but they you wouldn't do. understand because you lost your head. Almost, yes, oh. I was very close to Oh, it. not quite. <laughs> All the way through. Just a warning. Okay. We're in second register. Second. It's very sweet. It's very pure. We've got some dome going there. Mm. And that was some fabulous insights on the fact that someone who is performing classically would not normally be amplified. Mm -hmm. And so for someone in a session kind of environment, considerations for the microphone would be taken into consideration. As <gasps> She's very are. considerate. Yes, she's very, very considerate. And thus we get this beautiful sweet tone. I'm finding this story to be rather sad. It's sad. And not much saddens me. Anyway, um, the vocals from Danny so far, I noticed some very interesting harmonics going on in his fry scream towards the end there. Yes, it starts... <laughs> oh, goodness. Startle number two. <laughs> okay. Um... That was an accident. I'm so sorry, Vox. Um, it's I'm, okay. I'm new to all of this. I don't get out of my coffin much. Um, his harmonics. Very bright, very tinny, very metallic. Almost like my nails screeching across your window. Oh, He's quite it. high up now. Very. Very different to those lows he was bringing forth. Very interesting what he's doing. I hear him playing around with his sound a ton. Mm. He's... For a person who's very black and white, he's very playful. He's very playful. He's got quite the range being demonstrated in this as a well. Good on you, Danny. We love people who can demonstrate range. Delightful. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Oh, goodness, those lyrics are quite scary. <laughs> Yes. Un unfog. Can we go back to the word fog? Yes. I hear almost, it almost sounds like he has falsetto in there. Like there's oh. a true fold in there. I'm not sure. I don't think that's her. Listen to fog. Maybe yes. it's my ears. Maybe they're deceiving me. I doubt that. You're pretty good. Oh, thank you. Let's re-listen. I know That sound. There is something peeking through in that layer, cause it sounds like it should just be a false fold low, mm -hmm. or not quite low, more of a mid perhaps. But there definitely sounds like there's an upper harmonic I think creeping through there. It's a harmonic 
But what would create a harmonic that strong? I don't know that that could be created by a harsh vocal. So I think it might actually be falsetto. I'm not sure. Listen again. Let's listen and then we'll keep listening. Keep listening. Because sometimes the first time you're like, mm, is it really? And the second time you go, yes, that's what they're doing. <laughs> Sound. Oh, it's so tiny. Let's go back and we listen to it again. Oh, it sounds like it's all the way up there. Quite high. Yes. Oh, oh my god. That would be insane if it was harmonic. I don't think it could be a harmonic of a harsh vocal because there's no true fundamental tone to create that harmonic above. So I think it must be a phonation of a different sort. Okay. I'm not positive. So our options are false fold creating upper harmonic. Sometimes people do create those high sounds with polyphonic singing, but that's not the undertone that I'm getting. No, from it's his true sound. Much too high. Adult. It's very strong very too, and it's moving downwards on fog. Second option, potentially layered but weakened and pulled out. Possible. Possible. Uh, very possible. And our third option. More likely than anything else, actually, I think. And our third option, false folds that are quite strong, fry scream with the other harmonic. Or Fry screen? True true false. False. True false, but I wonder. True false, but not in the normal way of singing. I no. think that this would either have to be a falsetto, or I wonder if he mixed in a whistle. A whistle register. It was it's so, so high. It was so faint. It was very faint. So faint. But so fluty. Yes! Quite light. We would normally associate that lightness mm -hmm. of tone to a whistle registration, and it was quite high. Typically, when we're listening to people who employ harsh vocals, mm -hmm. their clean singing sometimes is perhaps not where they find most of their range. Mm. And that's quite high for quite a male high. vocalist. I don't know. Let's, I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's, keep, let's going. keep going. We've got options, but options. Perhaps more wine and more listen will will we'll help do. us. Yes. Let Pause. us keep going. How absolutely lovely those lyrics. I was born in love with thee. So why should fate stand in between? Oh, you would appreciate gothic romance. Oh, goodness, gothic romance. Yes, actually, speaking of this particular song, there was something about their sound, wasn't there? This is... The start of their new sound. Yes. This is the start of their new sound. Okay. Previously, apparently, there was a different kind of sound. I've only heard a later sound with nymphamphetamine, but this song was the moment when it pivoted their sound and this became Cradle of Phil's sound. I think that's very interesting. And I think this has a lot of impact, which makes sense. This feels like it's a very pivotal song. Yes, I would say that it's quite impactful and gorgeous lyrics. I'm very much enjoying whoever wrote this. Thank you. Cheers to the lyrics. Okay, so let's go back a little bit because let's catch those beautiful lyrics again. I also liked how earlier they had some layered harsh vocals, but the distance between those layers mm -hmm. were actually quite close together. And so it almost distorted and morphed that lower layer into feeling like it was so much bigger than it was. Not quite the same as a very high layer and a very low layer. 
close enough together it almost feels like one complete monster mm. <laughs> complete <gasps> I quite like that okay that switch there from screamed to come back to me which is all high that's amazing I want to hear that again Oh, I, I seem to recall in another life that we put a camera down a throat and the lower, the lower sounds he was making, that would be the false folds coming together that yes. we heard there. And that sound left a lot of the upper part of the vocal tract open. Nothing was going wacka wack on it. Mm. Um, but then... When he got to that higher part, when this camera was down this other person's throat, so it's not necessarily the same thing, but it could be the same thing. We would have to really put a camera down Danny's throat to know. But that then, son, it does. Danny, would you agree? <laughs> camera down your throat. Camera down your throat, sir. So when the camera went down, and it was a high spot. It was this little tiny hole. Everything went like it. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It is like trying to suck a sound through a tiny straw. And this made the sound feel like it was a lot higher. Mm. Uh, and it makes me wonder, where exactly in that higher one is this phonation source being created? I think it's, I think it's higher. I think it might be airy epiglottic -ish. Okay. I think. Mm. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of different things in that higher area that can make a sound. There really are. If it can move in your breath flow, it can potentially be contributing to sounds. Mm -hmm. While we are perhaps more accustomed to hearing false folds, there are many other things that can start to get involved in the sounds that we might attribute to being harsh in nature. Mm -hmm. So that's very curious. Danny, camera down your throat, please. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Okay, let us go back. <laughs> change in the musical landscape oh goodness yes. we have layers from our uh, our other vocalist you peeked in earlier oh yes and she then came in. his voice i hear multiple sources of sound sources of phonation yes. and i don't think that they're layered i believe oh. that these were not layered when i heard him live in the past okay which is very surprising because that's incredibly impressive i think i think he's making multiple sources at this point I think. Can we go back and yes, listen to it again? Yes, let us go back. Let us go back. And you'll just tap my leg when we hit that point. Because I would have just assumed layering. Yes. And I would normally assume layering as well. But I have seen people do a similar sound without layering before. That's very impressive. Crazy! Oh my god. <laughs> Enough. Go back further. Okay. Click, 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 click. Good. Okay. I like the layering on prayer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that again. Those last two sentences, I don't think were layered. I think that he makes these all at one time. I'm not positive, but you're all I have heard. What are you talking about? <laughs> I believe that he's able to make these sounds at the same time. Some of them, not all of them, that but some of them. Very impressive. Yes, because if you think about the air control required to have multiple sources of phonation at the same time, it's very complicated. Yes. And so cool. <laughs> very cool. I'm so glad you came 
Well, I'm so glad I came to visit. That's right. I was trapped in the cargo <laughs> aisle for many, many times. <laughs> to finally relaxing in the cargo hold. To finally getting out of the cargo hold. <laughs> Let us finish this. We're back to our unexpected losers. Yeah. I quite like that. I'm also just loving his makeup. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering, there was something that popped out to me, but I seem to have lost it in the rabbit warren Maybe of my Justin brain. Maybe Justin will help you remember what it was. Maybe. Let's keep going. <laughs> Quite heavy. Sizzle. And then nothing. <laughs> and now I love the sibling. <laughs> that was very fun. And, and there was definitely layering that happened in there in one A hundred percent there was layering mm -hmm. there. I would have been that would have blown my mind if he was doing that all at once. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would be possible. Um I almost love these high fries that lean more towards almost strangulation. <laughs> Like yeah. strangulation. <laughs> yes, well, sometimes it's easy to feed when they're not awake. Don't judge me. Okay, so coming back. <laughs> what a fun way to use the <laughs> That's it. That is the sound I was talking about. And okay. it, I swear there is true phonation happening in it. I believe you. The I true think there is. What in the world though? It's so interesting. Mm. And this leans very much towards that strangulation sensation that mm. I was talking about. Because I feel for this sound, his pharynx must be so constricted that he's actually trying to deprive the air coming through. Yes! Like do that, that again. <laughs> yes. No, it couldn't be an inhalation. No. No. That wasn't an inhalation. No, no at all. <laughs> yeah. It's very little sound or very little air pressure. <laughs> but that is, that's a whistle that is in there. Yes. So I think he might be using a little bit of whistle. But I also, I ponder if... Maybe this is a falsetto that has very, very little space. Is this may make thing. sense. Mm. This may make sense because then you have the constriction above the vocal folds. Mm -hmm. The vocal folds are quite thin. If we're going towards whistle register, yes. that means that only a very tiny portion of those Teetsy. vocal folds actually need to be vibrated to give him that sound. And then you already have the constriction on, on one part where the epiglottis is pushed down more, right? Yeah, so is it more of a compressed, strangled second register? Or are we going to lean more towards whistle? Would we call it a third register? 
I feel like Feminist Shimmer. for men's tends to be a little bit more uncommon. I think it... But that sound is it's very, very high. It's very high. It's very high. It's very high and it's very... It doesn't sound like he's working very hard for it apart from the restriction to manipulate the quality of it. I'm very curious about it. Oh, goodness. You have stumped us. Danny, yes. Bill, you have stumped us. Danny, Cheers. we have really... To being stumped. To being stumped. <laughs> Reminds me back to my own stumping days. <laughs> okay. I've been in a forest quite like this. Okay. so close to the end ah! no not live we just watched your music video goodness well that was quite unexpected we got treated to a lot of different harsh vocals in this I particular like song i like the way that he went high and then low and then all the stuff in between and then we had a true vocal fold singer on top yes it was so many different ways of making sound it was very ethereal, which in the storytelling of the song, I felt highlighted the danger that was in the lyrics just a little bit more. It was a terrifying the story. The morbid nature of some of those some of those words they put together in sentences was just very sad. Very, very sad. sad. And then you have this pure female voice coming over the top. You couldn't imagine mm. those horrible things happening. No. But also you can imagine the rage at finding the person that you were born to be in love with, and they are gone. And so you embark on a centuries long revenge. Don't know that I feel those things, but oh. I can imagine the rage if somebody stole something very shiny from me. I'm sure they're comparative. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you did enjoy this video, I hope that you will click the like button subscribe i'm not on the channel very often but massive thank you to vox for letting me use her space <gasps> and for picking me up from the cargo oh thank you so much i'm very glad you survived the cargo i did survive the cargo thank you very much for being on the channel if you would like to see more of vox or i believe your human counterpart is elizabeth on the charismatic voice yes she's very nice she is lovely mm -hmm. i am sure that you can follow this video here to her Halloween reaction Ooh. or perhaps a different charismatic voice video that you wish to consume with your eyeballs. Oh, I think your eyeballs and your ears. ears. Eyeballs and ears. Eyeballs and ears. <laughs> to eyeballs and ears. Eyeballs and ears. <laughs> okay. As per usual, I think I meant to wish you safety and good health. Good night, day, whatever. Just a second. You, you, you. Clap. Clap. Oh, yes. What a good mother. <laughs> this is so hard to put on. <laughs> Fox Island has any kids? Oh, maternal instincts run strong in this demon then. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it's so hard to put on! Mm. It does not. <laughs> Sharp little ah. stabby stabbies. To Don't click. break a nail! Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Vox! Vox! Sorry! Thank you, Vox! Okay. Oh, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Too much wife.